tale begins with a story told many times before of how a girl in a red hood had saved her dear old grandmother from the big bad wolf. This was only one part of the story because, as you see, history is written by the winners. What you didn't know was Granny wasn't the sweet old lady everybody portrayed her as. In fact, she was the leader of a crime syndicate, a fierce force of drug smuggling and murderous mobsters. After the first failed attempt at taking Granny down, detectives Wolf and Cutter of the small town of Loma Roca team up. They will finally see Granny and her Red Riding Hood minions. Or so they thought. Beautiful day we're having. Yeah, beautiful. Do you have it? Sit down. <laughs> I'm not gonna bite, you know. Seems like you're a little behind on payment. You see, Granny's probably a little upset. Business has been slow. <laughs> On the contrary, business has been booming. You're the one who fucked it all up and lost your job. Are, are you spying on me? No. Granny's got people for that. I'm here because loans have been called in. You know I don't have any money. How the hell am I supposed to pay you? Anything you can sell? No. It's a real shame to repeat. A real shame. It's a pleasure to see you again, Dr. Muffet. You as well, gentlemen. So what are you thinking? You know, that's the third homicide we've had in the past few weeks. So? He was a drug addict. That's not exactly unheard of. Yeah, but did you notice the location of the shots? This is just not some run-of-the-mill dealer here. Are you aware of the mark of Granny? You think that Granny authorized this hit? It's not unheard of. Think about it. He was down on his luck. He had nothing to live off of. He became a liability. She had to get rid of him. But he was a drug addict. Who would believe him? He must have had proof. He became a liability. I still don't know who would believe him. I'll find out where he was staying. Maybe we can get some information. We should get there before the killer does. Girls in these red hoods and these days, I see them all over the place. Uh, you know, girls, they're always so desperate to be popular. I'll tell you something, though, I've never understood some of these fashion trends. Yes, I know everyone who comes through these doors. It's a talent I inherited from my mother. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do, but somehow she remembered our names. We came for the personal items of Pete Stokes. Oh, uh, Pete Stokes? Uh, you just missed his daughter. She just came here to pick up his things. Daughter? Yeah, the nice little girl in the red hood. I believe he just bumped into her uh, when you were coming in. Uh, thanks. God damn it, where did she go? I don't know, you go this way, I'll go that way.
Well, they killed Pete Stokes today. Yeah, I kind of figured when Granny called. You've talked to Granny? No one has. I mean, she's just a voice on the phone. It's filtered. You can't even hear who she actually is. I mean, I have a password, but you can't... No one knows who Granny is. Only the higher-ups. Like who? How should I know that? If I knew, I would make friends with them, wouldn't I? have in his possession that you would have to pick up? I mean, just empty versions of these. What is that? Mermaid tears. So I'm surprised they, uh, they carry this around. Well, I was on a delivery before I got a call from Granny. She told me to get over to the shelter, dump the stuff, and, you know, I was gonna just take it back to the lab. Like, if there's a specific place where the mermaid tears are grown? Exactly. Like, you know, can you drop it for me? I, Granny might be getting suspicious. I suppose you'll be careful, right? <laughs> 